I personally think that uh, Sergeant Cook might have been the last uh, United States citizen to view Sweat prior to him crossing into Canada. And if he, not for the action, the heroic uh, measures he took to apprehend him, it'd be an entirely different and lengthy investigation going on today. State troopers involved in the manhunt were given a hero's welcome near the Clinton Correctional Facility in Dannemora, New York. They are breathing a huge sigh of relief in upstate New York now that Sweat has been captured. And fellow escapee Richard Matt was shot and killed on Friday. NBC Stephanie Gosk has the latest from Constable New York where David Sweat was captured. Stephanie, good morning. Good morning, Francis. Well, Sergeant Jay Cook was patrolling these rural roads very close to the Canadian border by himself. He didn't have a tactical team with him. He didn't have any kind of automatic rifle. He was alone. And officials say because he was alert and because he was such a good shot, this 23-day manhunt is finally over. David Sweat is hospitalized in protective custody in Albany this morning after being shot and arrested Sunday afternoon, just a mile from the Canadian border and 30 miles from the prison he escaped. According to authorities, shortly after 3 p.m., New York State Police Sergeant Jay Cook saw a suspicious man jogging down a road. When confronted, Sweat ran across an open field and Cook opened fire to prevent him from reaching a heavily wooded area. Just bang, bang. The end of the manhunt yeah, coming close really to good. Michael Doyle's window. Because I've never seen 40, 50 cop cars and I've never seen three, 400 guys run up the road with guns. Sweat was struck twice in the torso and treated on scene before being transported to an area hospital. 16 miles south and two days earlier, Sweat's partner in the escape, Richard Matt, was shot and killed by police. Autopsy results released Sunday say Matt died of three gunshots to the head. It's not known when or where the pair split up, but according to police, Sweat's DNA was found on an object not far from where Matt was killed. It was uh, uh, picnic-style pepper, pepper shakers, and we believe that uh, possibly these two males were using uh, pepper to throw the scent uh, off of the dogs who were tracking them. Relief and celebration was evident. And Governor Andrew Cuomo spoke publicly Sunday night. The escapees uh, have been dealt with. You couldn't have a better ending. Investigators are very eager to question Sweat. He's really the only person that can put the pieces together about how that incredible escape took place just over three weeks ago. CNN actually spoke to Sweat's mother, who said she too is glad that he was taken alive, but she also added that had she seen him herself, she would have turned him in. Francis. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.